All right, we have an amazing video today. This is a Kratos goon video. Super excited to talk about Kratos as always. Hopefully we make another one when y'all hit the like goal. Um, and my homeboy actually purchased two of these, so another one's coming regardless. But for that third one, which could hopefully lead to a movie, smash the likes, 400 likes, and it will be auto-assumed I'll be doing another part. Maybe I'll do a beef video for Kratos. Kratos has fucking beefed with everybody. We could do that. But anyways, let's not get too distracted. It's your boy, Jobbers and Goons. Love that I get to spend some time with you guys today. Make sure to go check out my latest video on Coffee Shop. Not only did I just do a Marvel uh, and DC comparison video, I also, uh, by the time you watch this, I will have dropped Batman vs. Raditz. What if Raditz came to Gotham? Uh, super dope concept. Shout out to my boy, Tom. Um... Anyways, if you want to see your favorite character on this channel or coffee shop or your favorite uh, topic covered, hit me up on Discord to talk about purchases. I would love if you could support. And if you want to support anyway, uh, which would be appreciated, check out the um, description in the video down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because YouTube doesn't like to alert my fans to my content. But anyways, I'm excited for this man. Kratos is a demon. Let's talk about some of the most brutal moments Kratos has done to his op. First, that time Athena got put on a t-shirt. So, Kratos obviously hates the gods, right? He hates what they've done to him and his family, and he's getting revenge. He's trying to pull up on Zeus. You know, he, he hits him with the juke moves, and he's like, Yo, bitch, it's your time to get flatlined. And that's when we, like, see clearly, and this was in God of War 2, that, like, Kratos will fade anyone to get to his main ops. Athena had to take the L for that bitch boy Zeus, and Kratos was like, you know what, that's too bad. Because I'm just catching the fades. And keeps it moving. I mean, when you want to talk about a dude that, like, once he's resolved to beat your ass, that's all that's going to be coming to you. That's Kratos. Like, Kratos was like, yeah, anybody can get it in my pursuit for revenge. Another t-shirt added to his collection. Gaia is the L for talking crazy on the net. That's right. So Kratos pulls up on Gaia and he's like, yo, Earth bitch, what's the vibes? And Gaia hits him with a dumbass take. She's like, yo, you're just a pawn of the titans like no one actually cares about you you're not even as real as you think you are like you're literally being used kratos looks around like yo dumb bitch i'm not sliding for the titans he was like you guys did me dirty that enough is like that that alone's enough for me to beef with you like i don't get why you think i'd have to work for somebody he's like y'all are shit and you're to take the l's and he's like matter of fact you're about to get smacked up for talking crazy to me. And sure enough, Gaia gets beat. Like, I'm talking about just punished by Kratos for talking crazy to him and saying he was a pawn. So obviously, we talk a lot about people he kills and people he has to beat up and body for his respect, right? But one, I believe, underrated aspect in the goon nature of Kratos is the fact that he will do some wild shit just to set up the fade case in point this man uh at one point used the casket of hades dead wife to act as hades you heard that right literally used the casket with the body of the dead wife of hades persephone and use that to access uh where hades was just to beat his ass do y'all know how disrespectful that is to use the man's dead wife to run his fade which he did oh my god top tier goon moment from kratos by the way shout out my boy grimy for helping me assemble these moments this next one is hilarious uh because kratos kills someone's wife oh no poseidon pick up your dead wife you hate to see it but anyways so kratos is making a play right and he's like yo besides wife come here bitch and he's like i need you to prop this open hold it 
obviously she's not able to do that very long right and the effort and then just overall she dies and Kratos was like that's too fucking bad guess what though I'm on the way to uh, t-shirt your husband and keeps it moving because Kratos is a G but that's right Poseidon's wife took a L being used by Kratos because Kratos has no choice but to move like a thug next we have the uh, disrespect he put on the boy Hermes now let me explain why this is so damn disrespectful Hermes the messenger god basically is like the god of speed right because he's got to be the quickest to deliver the messages throughout the realms well he eventually runs the fade with the god killer Kratos right big dog Kratos and Hermes tries to be quick with it right he's hitting juke moves he's like yo I'm the fastest I'm just gonna blitz you you can't catch me all this shit he's talking crazy of course Kratos is not going for that and on top of obviously folding Hermes he gets mad disrespectful by taking one of his legs that's right chops a leg off let me explain how disrespectful that is that would be like you're fighting the flash whose whole thing is being fast and you rip his leg off and you're like run now run now like be fast now bitch that's what Kratos did to him that is so disrespectful and to see it go down like that was top tier comedy now next is a beef with Icarus right you guys know the story with Icarus boy with the wings flies too close to the sun all that shit right he's gassed up to fight Kratos Kratos is like first of all you're not even a main character like you, you literally die being dumb I don't know why you're trying to run my fade but he's like regardless we can get it homie and they start to scrap here's the problem when you fight Kratos it's, it's disrespectful you don't want to fight Kratos because there's a good chance after he beats your ass he's gonna rob you Kratos is hood as shit like Kratos folded the shit out of Icarus and then took his wings the shit he's most famous for I told you Kratos doesn't care the disrespect is real hit the lick on Icarus after putting him on a t-shirt you hate to see it now obviously as you guys recall Kratos has a godly lineage right like he he does have a demigod lineage so he's related to some of his ops that, that you gotta take it to a ne the next level as a goon to fade blood, right? So, case in point, pulls up on Hercules, right? And he's like, yo, Hercules, do you really want to run my fade? Like, do you really want to die for these boys? And Hercules is like, I'm about to beat the shit out of you, uh, brother. And Kratos is like, that's false, bitch. And proceeds to throw hands. Now, at one point, he gets his brother's, like, massive knuckles. And starts beating the shit out of him with him. That's what I'm saying. Like, he will take the shit from you and beat you with it. And that's what ended up happening to his brother Hercules. That's right. That man, Kratos, uh, ends up beating the shit out of his own brother Hercules with his own shit. Uh, just getting mad, disrespectful to his own family and doing what it takes to clutch the W. Now, I just had a terrifying thought. And I think this is a way Kratos could be beat. Imagine if he had the smoke op packs for every op he kills. Look at the fucking size at some of these ops he kills. Like, Kronos? He's massive! Imagine if he had to smoke his ashes. He would die. He'd be too high. I don't care if they say he can't overdose. He would die, I promise. But anyways, getting back to this, that's a wild thought to have, right? Uh, <laughs> this one, like, speaking of Kronos, is a special one because it was funny. He did a horribly. So, first of all, Kronos was wilding because he was like, you're a coward that would do their own kin dirty because, as you know, that's technically his grandfather. And I'm like, yo, Kronos, you literally ate your own children. Like, shut the fuck up. But anyways, so Kratos is looking at him. He's like, all right, bro, we can really do this. First of all, at one point, Kratos was like tearing through his guts with the uh, blades. Like, you just tearing them apart on the inside. Um... And then we see him basically impale his skull with this massive rod. Like, it was horrible. It just looks like he's a massive victim of of the Saw guy if he went God mode, right? Like, literally sicko mode, God mode, 
we see him torture the shit out of Kronos and put him on a t-shirt. That's what he gets for talking shit that didn't even make sense. Like, you killed, you tried to kill your own children. Like, shut up, bitch. But anyways, yeah. Shout out to Kratos for bodying Kronos. Now, this next moment, Kratos possibly becomes the most famous first surgeon ever with a brutal separation of twins. So, in a bo boss fight, uh, Kratos is subjected to fighting the Oracle, right? These twins, and he, I, I mean, you know the vibes, he's gonna put hands on them. Eventually, when he gets up close, um, this man tears apart the twins. Like, the twins get separated in brutal Mortal Kombat fashion by Kratos. And he's like, yeah, don't ever disrespect. I'm the boss. So, yeah, shout out to Kratos for possibly being the first one to ever conduct separation surgery. That's kind of crazy to think about. I'm not sure. I'd have to check the record books. But it should be him. Now, finally, smash the like button if you haven't already. We have the last moment where... Uh, possibly one of the most disrespectful t-shirts on the list. You let me know in the comment section which you think was. But uh, So in this moment, Kratos is battling the sun god, right? He's battling Helios. Um, obviously with the sun being the sun god, he has a lot of light power and whatnot. So after killing the sun god, Kratos is like, you know what? You would literally make the dopest lantern ever. Takes his head off and uses his head as a lantern for the rest of the game. That's right. Imagine t-shirting your op and using their skull to light the path for the rest of the game. That's exactly what Kratos did because he is a tier 4 goon. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section your favorite moment uh, from this video. Let me know what you're looking forward to seeing in the next one. Thank you for everyone that supports the channel. And shout out to everyone that uh, is new to the channel. It's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.